they were like, pick somebody out in the room that you think has the worst style. And I was like, oh crap, what are we, what have I gotten myself into? I'm not gonna do this. there. We're off for an adventure today, heading up to LA. I've got some serious traffic ahead of me. I am going to meet up with a friend, one of those wonderful social media friends that you have, and you guys are going to meet her, and we have a pretty funny story to tell. I'm up in Santa Monica. I found parking, which is kind of shocking, and it actually didn't take me too long. Parking in LA is I get tickets here all the time. I'm gonna go into a fun little coffee shop and meet up with Chelsea. So let's go. I'm with Chelsea. No. Maybe real quick, <laughs> tell people who you are, like what you do and all that kind of stuff. So I'm a fashion stylist, costume designer based in LA. And right now I'm working on this talk show, The Real Dressing. Mine. She's like legit fashion <laughs> stylist over here. Schlepping around LA, getting clothes. Nothing glamorous <laughs> about it at all. And you've been working in this world for how long? It's been like 10 years, I want to say. Like, but I assisted for a super long time. Like, I assisted Rachel So, like, worked on American Idol, assisted costume designer Janie Bryant, who did Mad Men. It's taken me a long time to get to like this point of like doing my own thing. We need to reveal, first of all, how Chelsea and I met. It's actually like a really good story, I feel yeah, like. It is, oh my it's god. It's so good. I was invited to this audition. We show up to a hotel, uh -huh. and there's like a ton of people there. Like, yeah. a cattle call, basically. Yeah, basically. I'm in a room, I've given a number, and then I sat next to you, right? I think, actually, I came up to you, because I, like, I had followed your blog right when I graduated high school and I was really getting into fashion and then I found your blog and I was like, oh my god, I'm so obsessed with her. She's like, has all these cool vintage clothes and outfits and she's gonna open a store, like. And so I saw you, I was like, oh my god, that's best job for Vintage Society. I was like, I have to go say hi. And so I think we ended up sitting down together yeah. and we were just there forever, just waiting. But then we were called into this room. It was the people who did America's Next Top Model. Yeah. It was their team, uh -huh. or their producers and whatever. There was like a whole set, you know, lineup where they were in front and then there was a room of us kind of sitting in a U-shape, I guess around like a dance floor or something, right? Yeah, something like that. With a camera. And then we were all supposed to get up and like introduce ourselves in front of the panel. The first girl gets up. And the first question they ask her is, pick somebody out of the room that has the worst style. And remember this? You do not remember yes, that. Yes, I remember it was Shut awful. Because what happened was like, they were like, pick somebody out in the room that you think has the worst style. And I was like, oh crap, what are we, what have I gotten myself into? I'm not going to do this. And then you and I were like, we'll just say each other so we don't have to call anybody out. I think I got it before you did because I, I don't you think I too. saw yours. And do you remember what I did? I sang a song. Wait, what did you sing? <laughs> Shut up. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I sang from Sound of Music. I was like, I have confidence in sunshine. And then, uh, like, I think I said, I'm Beth Jones and I'm a fashion blogger. Anyways, they're like, thank you for coming. Bye. What did you do? I was so nervous. Weren't you like, called back? I remember what I said. I feel like I, like, blacked out, like, <laughs> doing it. The show came on and it was fine and I think I watched it. The girl who won, like, seemed legit. I don't think I would be good on reality TV. And the, I don't know, I think under pressure I would probably be the girl that was like crying and had acne all over my face the whole time. So anyways, so that was how we met. <laughs> and we were going somewhere, right? We're going thrifting. <laughs> She's an amazing thrifter as well. Are you looking for anything? I'm always looking for stuff. What is like one of your things you can't stop buying? I always buy dresses. Like okay. just because it's, they're like easy to throw on, right. you can like always feel cute. Right. Type thing. I buy way too much outerwear. I always think I need a new fur coat or a blazer or a leather too. jacket. I'm, the same too. I'm in a stylist car, so she's complaining that her car has Vogue magazine and like designer clothes, where my car is covered in animal crackers and pretzel stick. Actually, slightly inspiration. <laughs> We've got notes Such here on us. outfits. Yeah. So fun. Thank you.
How would you style the shoe? I would totally just wear these with like jeans and a t-shirt. The Smithsoni like kilt skirt. Yes. Ooh, I like that. A kilt That's skirt. Right? Totally. Doesn't it look like a kilt? Yes. How would you style that piece? I sort of want to wear it with like a chunky sweater and like my thigh high boots. I got the Christian Dior velvet-ish robe, which I imagine wearing like as a wrap dress, as a robe, as just like a kimono style with jeans, t-shirt, boots, like so many ways you can wear it. We're wrapping it up. So much fun. So fun! <laughs> you guys, we're gonna do some more stuff together. What has this been? Like a 10 year reunion? Yeah. So thanks for hanging Thank out. Thank you. It was so it's fun. So fun. Yay!